Welcome to Queen's Park in Toronto. To become Ontario's Lieutenant Governor, David Onley overcame a serious handicap. He was once a TV weatherman. Now he is one of Canada's 10 vice regals, a job that comes with great constitutional responsibility and one very cool scooter, which I am hoping he will loan me. And here we are, tucked away in the swanky part of Queen's Park, and here he is, the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, David Onley. David, how are you? Just great. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Rick. Very good. So you are the Queen's representative on Earth here in Ontario. In, yes, indeed. And uh, how did that come about? Well, a friend of mine approached me and said he thought I should consider being the Lieutenant Governor. Really? Yes. See, if a friend of mine said that, I would think they were drunk or something. You should be Lieutenant Governor. That's what well, they said. Uh, my initial reaction was, yeah, I should be an astronaut as well. Like, right. how do I get lots there? Of things. Yes, lots and so of things. you said, okay, put my name forward. And he did. And at the time, you were on CP24, That's which right. is a, 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 a Toronto news station. Mm -hmm. What were you doing there? Reading the news. Reading the news. And doing uh, a weekly science, uh, technology, and computer program. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a phone call that came into the newsroom. It was about 20 minutes. They before. called the newsroom? Well, they called me on my line, mm -hmm. the private line. And uh, he just identified himself and um, said, the Prime Minister needs to talk to you tonight. And you took the call? I, I took the call. I, because I, when the Prime Minister calls me, I always pretend I'm going into a tunnel. Do you? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Ken. <laughs> That's maybe why I've never gotten the big gig. Could be. Your office, I notice, is decorated uh, like uh, the bedroom of a nine-year-old boy. Thank you. Yes. yes. Which is interesting. You have uh, model planes, uh, yeah. trains. Um, is the lieutenant the governor in the basement with a funny hat playing with a train no. set in the evening? No, he's not. No. no. He wishes he could, but... <laughs> you would. <laughs> this is from 1959, the royal visit, mm -hmm. and... Uh, oh, so you met the queen. That's an Absolutely. amazing photo, though. That's like the film footage of Bill Clinton meeting JFK, yep. except it's you meeting the Queen. Exactly. Who would have guessed you would be her representative? Yeah. Now, what room is this? This is the drawing room. The drawing room? Yes. What's it going to take to put me behind the wheel of one of these suckers? Yeah. Hop aboard. Really? I can take one? Yep. <laughs> have you ever run over Dalton McGinty? No, no. The day is young. I, I... <laughs> it's really good on the marble, eh? Very good. Is this furniture... Incredibly valuable and ancient? <laughs> yes. Yes. It is. Yes. Right, so very careful. Well, the blue one and the red one mm -hmm. are for travel purposes because they're very light. They're about 115 pounds. Is this for formal occasions? Formal occasions, Because yes. it's black. Yes. Matches the tuxedo. Yes. It's very James Bondian. Does it have a smoke screen or anything? No, it does have flashing. <laughs> It does have flashing lights, though. Oh, this is the uniform of the Lieutenant Governor. That's correct. And this is what you wear. Well, it fell into disuse in the early 1970s. So you could wear it, but you choose not to. Yeah, correct. It's you. I would so wear this if I had this job. <laughs> Hello, Dalton. Come along. <laughs> you get saluted? Yes. Really? Yes. By everyone in uniform? Yes. They don't even salute the Prime Minister. I mean, Harper makes them, but they're not supposed to. <laughs> Who's that? That is John Graves Simcoe. That is the first Lieutenant Governor? That's correct. Of Ontario? Yes. Again, you have the option to dress like him, and you choose not and to. And I choose not to. I do not understand you, David Onley. I do not. Hello, Mr. Speaker. How, How are, are you? you? Welcome to Queen's Park. He can get away with speeding in the legislature. You can't. Sure, I'm with you. You're him. a stranger in the house. I'm with him. Speakers love to remind you how they have all the power. They, he is the boss of the house. Oh my it's God, it's two it. former premiers. Oh, Mike, hello, Ernie. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. You're not driving a truck you, today? No, no, I'm driving a scooter. You put us on the show, you're in big trouble. Oh! Oh! Sorry. <laughs> that just comes right off. No. <laughs> How are you? Good. Sorry. But the curb, that shouldn't be there. If I was Lieutenant Governor, yes. I would drive one of these all the time, even if I wasn't disabled. <laughs> well, it does give a certain presence, yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is not open anymore. Okay, I'm going to follow him. Watch out for the car. Hello, students. Hi. 
What grade are you in? Five. Whoa. Five. This is the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario. Hi. Hello, Lieutenant Governor. Do you have any questions? Yes. Yes. Is it fun? There we go. That's pretty good, eh? Don't say the CBC never did anything for you. Okay, I have to continue my interview with my friends. So do you like talking to kids like that? I do, uh, especially at that age group where they actually are taking government civic mm -hmm. studies in their uh, school at that grade, grade five. So they have a lot of questions about government, but then of course they inevitably start talking about the scooter and right. about why am I using it, and that uh, gives me an opportunity to talk about accessibility. How is Canada where you travel around as, as by accessible standards? We, we have improved dramatically. Um, most new buildings and, and certainly most retail outlets and uh, uh, municipal facilities, not all, but most new ones, are very accessible. It's everyone's definition of accessibility is different. That's right. part of the problem, uh, where they think is accessible and it might meet one standard, but so they say it's really. accessible is just four steps. It's yes. I must say I'm quite smitten with the fact that as a Canadian citizen, the phone could ring, mm -hmm. and just like that, you could be royalty, vice royalty, vice royalty. <laughs> I mean that's awesome. It I is. remember when I was 20, the phone rang, and it was the unemployment insurance people, and they told me the next day I had to dress up as a pirate and deliver invitations, otherwise I wouldn't get a check. <laughs> That's kind of the same it's thing. Interesting, isn't Yours it? is it's on a job. grander <laughs> stand. And I had no choice. I mean, my government was calling on me. Well, and uh, mine was too. Yeah. And so you. I had really... a duty. <laughs> I did too. And I got a huge hat. You know, you're spinning, Rick. We'll have to get out. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Rick. It was a real pleasure. Likewise. Say hello to the Queen. I will. I'm taking this with me. You are.